G'day everyone. Uh, this is the, the next project I want to tackle is a uh, 43rd scale white metal kit from uh, Tamio from Italy. Uh, this is of the Ferrari 640 from 1989 or the F189 um, as it's often referred to as. Uh, this, this particular kit is the Brazilian Grand Prix version so the first time that this car raced and uh, wasn't expecting to uh, finish the race never mind win it but uh, Nigel Mansell ended up winning the race. Uh, on his debut with Ferrari, and uh, that's the version I'm going to uh, to build with this kit. So uh, now it's 1989, so I guess the kit was released late in '89, early 1990. So it's 30 odd years old. Um, so let's have a look at what you get in a 30 year old Tamio kit. Um, firstly, bag of assorted parts here. Uh, the bag is sealed and I'll leave that sealed until I'm ready to actually start working with these because there's a lot of small parts in here and I don't want to don't want to go uh, risking uh, losing any of them. So there's um, rubber tires but they're very hard rubber. Uh, the wheels are turned brass so uh, two pieces for each wheel will need to come together. So cast rear wing and gearbox assembly there. Seat and uprights, mirrors, a range of uh, small things in there. So, steering wheel, it's going to be some fiddly work getting all of that prepped and uh, in position. What else have we got here? Uh, Tamio provide a um, like a, a, a photo reference sheet uh, back when this kit was done, it was in uh, black and white. So you get some um, photographic references of uh, of the car that you're uh, you're building, but with this I've got plenty of references in uh, magazines and books in my uh, my library of reference material, so I won't be using that so much. Um, also, there's instructions here. And again, I'll just pull out. Uh, List of parts in Italian, if you can understand that, and uh, the layout of the, the photo etch, which is also in the box, and the instructions here. Um, unlike a lot of other kits where you've got step one, do this, step two, do that, uh, with these kits, you're basically just given a listing of all the parts and uh, where they need to go, and um, some referencing for where the decals go, or decals, decals, whatever you want to call them. And speaking of which, uh, that's them here. So these are cartograph decals. So hopefully, um, even though they're 30 years old, hopefully they're still going to be okay when it's time to use them. Um, I won't try and flatten this sheet out yet. I'll uh, just use the decals one by one. Very basic colour scheme on this. It was just a um, bright Ferrari red, I guess, and, and black. You can tell how old the kit is, though, because uh, check this out, Marlboro. No need to go buying aftermarket decals to get the uh, tobacco advertising. Get the cover, cover paper on those. Uh, this is the main casting in a sort of protective mesh sleeve here. So two parts, a top body, and uh, the floor, which has got the cockpit sort of moulded in here. Tamio kits, Ferrari F189 by Luca Tamio, 143rd scale, made in Italy. And probably use these, build the, build the model sitting on the ground actually on these uh, these raised bits, which will probably give a, a ride height about correct. And then there's the top body, which needs a bit of clean up. A bit of oxidization on there too needs to come off. Now this is the... Uh, early version where the um, engine intakes are low down, low airbox version. Uh, a few races in they went to a high airbox where the intake was above the driver's head uh, which is something that sort of followed through to the modern day and uh, sort of teardrop, teardrop tapering of the, the rear end of the car so very unique shape and also a bit of a pioneering technically this car because it was the first to do away with the standard stick shift on the right hand side and putting a semi-automatic gearbox and a paddle shift on the steering wheel so it was the, the first car to uh, to do that and then finally in the box 
is the photo etch components. We've got some uh, wing end plates here, maybe a wing element as well. The dashboard in there, a whole pile of suspension arms and push rods and things. So uh, again, this is in a sealed uh, bag. I'll leave it sealed until it's time to uh, cut these off, and they'll be, a few of them will require some bending up, I would presume, to um, get the ride height and the stance and everything correct on this model. So a lot of little parts in there as well, including um, wheel nuts and the wheel inserts are in there as well. So anyway, so that's the next project that I'll be starting. Uh, so if you're wanting to follow along and check out how this goes, you might as well subscribe to the channel. And if you like what's going on here, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. Till next time, cheers.